Now, just because they live in a park, it doesn't mean they're friendly. They're still wild animals and prone to attack. Bob Nixon has a warning tonight about the coyotes in Stanley Park. We are in Stanley Park looking for coyotes. I'm with coyote expert Dan Straker. These bushes will keep them concealed from people and it gives them the shelter that they need. And it also gives them a very easy food source because they enjoy blackberries as much as we all do. We're here because this is denning season for coyotes when the kits are born. Kind of cute, huh? But moms can be protective. And though the dens are in the forest, coyotes love the open spaces as much as people. So with coyotes lurking on the fringes of the forest of Stanley Park, the question is, should you be worried? Well, the answer is no, because first of all, there's only about six of them. And second, they're scared of people. But are they scared enough? And somebody doesn't scare them, they might start getting used to being around people. As time goes on and they get more and more used to people, then they can become aggressive. That's why Straker recommends people carry one of these. And when you don't have one... Make yourself big, put your arms up in the air, and you yell as loud as you can. Go away, coyote! Well, that seems to work, and it's a message taken to schools. Go away, coyote! Although coyote attacks are extremely rare, they do happen. I just picked Jordan up right away, and I started to yell and scream, and I was kicking at the coyote. The last attack in the Vancouver area was three years ago in Port Coquitlam. A sick coyote bit a toddler, was tracked down and shot that same day. But a few thousand coyotes live here. And that's why it's extra important that people understand they have a responsibility to make sure those coyotes are afraid of people. Message is, don't feed them, don't be nice to them. Because given the chance, they won't be nice to you. Bob Nixon, CBC News, Vancouver.